appearing before the National Assembly's Public Investment Committee on Governance and Education. Instead, blamed the management of the university. Mevin Getembe now reports. William Ruto's agenda with the Kenya Medical Supplies Authority on the spot of a massive corruption. From all these universities, the DBCs, the what? Following a legal notice number four dated 25th of January 2019, established Kenya International Hospital as a parastatal, which stopped operization process and the university to hand over the hospital to the Ministry of Health. In a meeting that brought together the Ministry of Health, Education and National Treasury, the three saying that there was need to work together. Education Cabinet Secretary Ezekiel Machogu supported the move, adding that this will benefit both ministries and therefore all students should be allowed access to the hospital. Uh, even when I work as Minister for Education, there is the bigger picture because we are one country, we are one government, because even as I make a decision as Minister for Education, there are so many other factors that we have to take into consideration. According to the Ministry of National Treasury, construction of Kenyatta University Teaching and Referral Hospital was financed by a way of concessional loan agreement between the government of Kenya, represented by the Ministry of Finance as the borrower and the Export-Import Bank of China as the lender, for faculty of close to 9 billion, which the ministry says neither Kenyatta University nor Kenyatta National Hospital is paying. I have to actually state that the construction was commenced and actually completed and this is a burden that is being shared by the government instead so that the ministry uh, that the national treasury that's the first thing the second thing is uh, the financing of that construction and uh, the construction uh, uh, that started in uh, june 2011 and uh, the government was represented by the minister of uh, the finance which was the borrower and this costed approximately 8.7 million but the most important thing is to clarify that neither the university nor Kenyatta, uh, sorry, uh, it is important to clarify that neither Kenyatta University nor Kenyatta University Teaching and Referral Research Hospital is carrying the burden of repaying their own. The committee sought to know why Ministry of Health does not include the Board of Management of the University in the operation planning of the hospital. Health Cabinet Secretary Susan Nakuminsha in response now says she will engage all relevant authorities and will make sure that all students are allowed assess into the faculty. We have had over 500 inquiries of Kenyans who would like to use that facility. So far, the waiting list, I'm told, is over 100 people already confirmed waiting to use the facility. Therefore, even as we discuss, we may want to put the bigger picture into perspective of the patients that would be waiting to be served. Mevin Getembe, Look Up TV, Nairobi.